Hey guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with another video. We just had the most exciting weekend of the year, the 2020 Olympia. And oh my gosh, it was incredible. Every single division was amazing. I have so much to say. What I've done is I've broken up each division into its own video. So in this video, we're talking about fitness, but I will be back right away with a separate video on bikini, figure, women's physique, and women's bodybuilding. So make sure you subscribe so you'll get that notification that the video has uploaded because I'm doing them all. And it was so exciting. So we always start by talking about what the placings mean for the next year's Olympia. And in the fitness category, I believe the top five from this year's Olympia are going to qualify for next year's Olympia. And the reason that I put the question mark there is because these are the rules for this year's Olympia. So I haven't seen what they're going to do for 2021, but I'm presuming it's the same. Okay, so we had a lineup of the best fitness athletes in the world, and we can only look at the top five. Oh my gosh, it was just so good. I've actually included our top six because if you saw the prediction video, we always talk about the top six. So I figured we should at least mention <laughs> the full top six. So here we go. Here we are. Missy in first, Oksana in second, Whitney in third, Ariel in fourth, Jacqueline in fifth, and Tiffany in sixth. And what's most interesting about the scoring for the fitness category is that the judging, which is their physiques, is worth one third, and then the finals, which is a routine, is worth two thirds. And it's the combination of these two scores which create the total, which creates the placings. Now, when you look at the physique round, it was Missy who won, followed by Whitney, and then Ariel, then Oksana, then we had Nina, who did incredibly well. <laughs> And then there was Tiffany and then Jacqueline. When you looked at the routines, it was a different order of girls. Oksana won in the fitness routine uh, category. Then we had Missy in second, then Whitney in third, Ariel in fourth, Jacqueline in fifth, Arika came in sixth, and then Tiffany was in seventh. And the combination of those scores is what resulted in the placing. So Missy and Oksana were really quite close. You see Missy had 27 points in the end. Oksana had 34. And then Whitney was really close with 38. So it was an incredible show. So beginning with Tiffany in sixth place, I think she looked lovely. Her abs were incredible. Great definition. I loved how defined her legs were from the front. I didn't think they were quite as defined in the back. I would have liked a little bit more of a pop to her glutes to see a little bit more of the line in her hamstrings. But from the front, really great definition. Nice shape to her arms. A, a, a small V taper. She's not the most muscular girl on the stage, as you'll notice, especially when I show the lineup. But she's got a really beautiful, balanced, proportionate body. Um, I thought her suit was lovely, beautiful color. It looked great against her skin. Her hair was a nice length, a little bit fluffy. I think she's a naturally curly um, haired girl. I would have liked more volume on the top to match the volume on the sides, but overall, it, she just looked beautiful. Great earrings, great jewelry, lovely posing, fantastic. And a sixth place at the Olympia is tremendous. Now, as for her routine, it was so high energy. From the moment she started, it was just insane. Flips and crazy jumps, so good. Just high energy from the get-go. Her body looked really good. Her costume was very flattering. Her arms were incredible. And I also thought she had some really interesting moves. Very creative. It was a great routine. And I love that neon costume. It matched the energy of, of everything she was doing. It was fantastic. Okay, next in fifth place is Jacqueline. First thing I noticed on Jacqueline were those shoulders. Beautiful. 
just a great amount of muscle, nicely rounded, created a great V taper with those beautiful lats, a nice small waist, very flat abs, and then nice size to her legs. I would have liked to see a little bit more definition in the legs. I think um, uh, stronger lines between those muscles and the quads. Um, the back of her legs look a little bit, you know, not quite as defined as I would like to see. But her shape is beautiful. She's got great tone. She looked fantastic. I think her suit is lovely. Beautiful colors. And I like that her lipstick matches, uh, complements the color in her suit. It's very lovely. Um, a, a fifth place for Jacqueline is incredible. And I think she did amazing. Okay, now as for her routine... Wow. She was the first one out and it was such a good start. I loved when she flipped upside down for the first time and you got to see the sparkly shorts that she was wearing. It was just beautiful. So glittery. And then she stripped off the white dress to reveal her super athletic body. Her legs looked amazing. She was incredible. She did a lot of really difficult looking moves, a lot of things with just on a single hand. I was extremely impressed and I thought she did fantastic. Okay, next in fourth place is Ariel, who looks so muscular. She is just incredible. Beautiful shoulders, amazing lat spread, especially look at her from the side in that middle picture. Her lats are amazing. Great abs, really flat, nice definition, and so much muscle in her quads. Holy moly, she's got some big muscular legs. Great definition in the front. You're seeing an, some nice tone, nice lines throughout the front of her legs. The back, again, I, I'm starting to sound like a broken record here, but I feel like I could use a little bit more definition in the back. I'd like to see a bit more hamstring, but. She, the amount of muscle Ariel has is incredible, and she's so muscular. She's got a great V taper. She looks fantastic. I liked her suit. I liked her hair being off in those braids to one side with the beautiful earring, which brings the attention to her gorgeous smile. And I think fourth place is tremendous. She looked really good. Beautiful definition in her back as well. When I look at that back pose, she's got some great lines. Her conditioning was pretty darn good. And her routine was fabulous. Very martial arts inspired. She's obviously an incredibly talented athlete. There was, there was times when she was blindfolded with nunchucks. Like, come on. It was so insane. So good. She looked super buff, like an action hero. Just incredible. She began the routine doing handstands on one hand, and then she switched to the other side on one hand. So impressive. Um, and she's obviously an extremely talented gymnast as well, because she was doing these crazy flips and tumbles across the stage. It was tremendous. So good. Okay, in third place was Whitney, our defending champion. Oh my gosh, she looked so good. She was so, so incredibly beautiful. Beautiful suit, gorgeous hair. Um, her body was phenomenal. Probably, well, oh my gosh. Her conditioning was really good. The definition in her legs, in the front and in the back, I love what I'm seeing in the back. You're seeing a bit of adductor muscle. Her glutes look incredible. Her abs are amazing, so flat, beautiful definition, just unbelievable. I did feel that her shoulders could have been a little bit bigger, just a little bit rounder to really create that gorgeous V taper shape with the top of the shoulders capping it off. But my gosh, did she ever look good? And her conditioning was so good. Um, I wouldn't have minded a brighter lipstick from Whitney just because everything is very pale. You got the, the very light hair, the light suit. So a darker lip would have been nice from just for me, but she looked insane. She looked so beautiful. She was gorgeous. Um, I was so impressed. Extremely small waist. 
uh, her, she, what can I say? She just looked so good. And her routine was amazing. She walked out in this cape and her hair was up. She was just like stunningly beautiful. Unbelievable. I, I was, oh, took my breath away. She looked gorgeous. And she had this kind of slow build up to the beginning of her routine. And then it became just explosive and awesome and so entertaining. She had some amazing moves on the floor. There was break dancing. There was, she's so strong and so powerful. I thought it was awesome. Um, just, just unbelievably good. And from beginning to end, she's such a pro and, you know, third place, it just shows you how good everybody was when, when Whitney, who was so well-rounded and had everything comes into a third place. Okay. Next in second is Oksana, our beautiful returning champion. She's an Olympian. She took some time off and she's back and she's back just as strong as ever. I thought her legs looked beautiful, especially from the front. From the back, not quite so defined, but the side, the back, uh, the front, really, really beautiful. Tiny waist, especially when she was twisting from the side. Her abs looked amazing. I thought the top of her shoulders were really beautiful. She had a nice shape in her arms. Um, and, and just gorgeous. I really liked her side pose when she has the leg a little bit in front. I think she has this beautiful silhouette. I found the tan to be a bit dark, especially compared to the others in the lineup. You'll see. Um, made it a little bit tricky to see some of that definition in her muscle tone, but everything else was beautiful. Her hair looked lovely. Uh, her suit was really nice. Maybe that's part of it, the, the dark tan and the dark suit. Uh, I, I would have liked the tan to be a little lighter so we could see the suit better and the muscles better. But my goodness, she was just gorgeous. Such a small waist, a nice V taper. Her shoulders are not as crazy big as uh, we'll see Whitney's and Missy's, but beautiful proportions. And I thought she did fantastic. And her routine was incredible. She came out in this costume, completely full from head to toe, a robot transformer, and then she transformed herself into this kind of this leotard, sparkly. It was amazing. It was so good. And she is incredibly flexible, so strong. She's doing one-handed moves, handstands, and just, just show-stopping. I thought she was like a beautiful dancer. She was so light on her feet. It was almost as if she was on a springing floor because there was, she, she was just floating. <laughs> she was so light, so high up in the air. Her feet were gorgeous. And what I mean by that is she had the most beautiful point in everything she was doing. She obviously is a beautifully talented dancer. Um, I was just so impressed. It was a great routine, and I think it was very well placed as the first um, in the routines. It was it was really amazing. Okay, and now in first place was Missy. And remember, Missy had the number one placing physique, and I think that's pretty clear from these pictures. She is so balanced. Those shoulders compared to the glutes. Wow. Amazing lat spread to give her this incredible V taper from the shoulders right down to this tiny waist. Her conditioning is amazing. She's got awesome definition in her legs. Her abs are there and extremely flat, the, the abs, I mean. And then when she turns to the side, her quads are beautifully rounded, but perfectly defined. And then from the back, her glutes are incredible. She's got gorgeous shape, great definition. The shoulders are just show, like, I want to say show-stopping. I know I've said that a few times. <laughs> this, the, the whole fitness category was 
insane. But Missy's physique was really on another level. She just looked fantastic. And she had beautiful posing, extremely strong. Wow. When she spreads those lats, you look, you take notice. And as for her routine, it was so creative. She came out in this dungeon, this cage, and you just had this tension. You wanted her to get going. Come on, Missy. You know, show us what you've got. It was it was awesome. It was a great buildup. And then her routine was so explosive, extremely high energy, and a lot of height. She was jumping off of the top of that cage. She was jump, flipping, doing all kinds of things, a lot of airtime, which I love. It's extremely entertaining. It just shows us how powerful she is, what a tremendous athlete. It was a great routine, um, extremely entertaining. <laughs> and uh, her body also looked incredible. You know, she had the, the costume was really flattering. You could see all of the muscles as she was doing these incredible moves. So it was fantastic. All right. So the lineup of girls, my gosh, um, I kind of had to mash the pictures together. And truth be told, I didn't love the um, that Missy wasn't quite in the pose in this picture. So I put another one on top just so that you can kind of get an impression of everybody side by side. And I think it's fairly clear that Missy um, definitely had the most impressive physique. She had these insane shoulders with the beautiful V taper. But Whitney, her conditioning was so good. And Whitney is extremely balanced as well. No, her shoulders aren't as big as Missy's, but she looks beautiful and proportionate in her own body. But there was something special about Missy today, for sure. She was just so muscular, so balanced, great conditioning, the total package, just beautiful. But you can see Ariel is really muscular, her legs especially. Um, Jacqueline with those gorgeous shoulders. Tiffany had the beautiful abs. And Oksana's legs, I noticed them the second she started walking. Beautiful legs. And everybody just looked incredible. What a great lineup. Here's a view from the side. I noticed that Whitney has um, the, the front of her quads are not quite as rounded as Missy's. Um, Whitney's are a little bit more three-dimensional. Same with Oksana's. But everybody, the V-tapers, Ariel is so, so muscular, such a small waist. It was such a great lineup. And then from behind, amazing. Whitney's definition in her back is really good. This is a better picture that I put on top of the two of them side by side. Um, everybody looked incredible. Missy's glutes are quite outstanding. Wow. Okay, so from a points perspective, Missy, Oksana, and Whitney no longer ever have to worry about points. They are qualified for life now for the Olympia, and I believe Ariel and Jacqueline, because they were in the top five, will get to go to the 2021 Olympia. And returning to my predictions video, if you happen to catch it, I think I did pretty good. I had predicted Whitney, Oksana, Missy. I, I think I'm pretty sure I had said I thought Missy would win. So um, I'm very proud of her. I think she did fantastic. Now, Adela didn't end up competing. And on December 8th, I saw on her Instagram that she... I think she got a bicep injury, which is so disappointing, but she was still there and she was presenting the awards, which is lovely. It was nice to at least get to see Adela and I hope that she'll be able to compete in the future. Then I had also predicted Tiffany and Ariel and my wild card was Darina. So not too bad. I got one, two, three, four, five out of the top six. Okay, and one final thing. Um, in case you missed the live stream, this was pretty bizarre. They actually called out Missy as being in second place. And then they had to have her return to the side. She gave back the medal and the flowers. And then it turned out to be Oksana in second place. And uh, the MC Bob, had said that they had confirmed the scoring. So I don't know what happened there, whether they had the wrong piece of paper or what. But... It was a bit of a dramatic moment. I can only imagine the emotional roller coaster that these two women went through. 
and wow, right? But they both handled it with such sportsmanship, such class, such grace. I was extremely impressed by how well it was handled. And, um, you know, it was a kind of a awkward way to present someone with the award for being the new Olympia champion. But, you know, in the end, it was all okay. And it was all cleared up right away, at least. And um, what a I, what a commendable display of athleticism and sportsmanship from these two women in particular, because it was quite, quite unusual. So there you have it, my recap of the fitness category. Please give me a like if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe so you get those notifications when my next video is up. I will be back right away. You can find me on um, you can find me on the blog at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.